Welcome back to Hot Plate. This is the kitchen where we make super easy and delicious meals. I'm Claire Carato. And I'm Chef Bennett. Now, as you know it, what we do here, sorry, every time I think about the food that we sell here, <laughs> like, I can't help but some of the food that comes out of this kitchen is so good. Mm -hmm. And what makes it even better is how easy it was to prepare it. Now, if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome to Hot Plate. We have had so many messages for you guys, from you guys uh, suggesting different meals and different recipes and saying that you want to be on the show. We have been touched uh, by the ones who watch our show and even mentioned the fact that how much I love garlic and sugar. <laughs> um, thank you so much for tuning in. It means so much to us here on Hot Plate. Mm. And um, for those who don't know what we're about, what we do is a chef prepares meals uh, that you can be able to recreate in your kitchen, uh, meaning we use ingredients that are locally available. Mm. And I do the desserts, which are easy as well and tasty. Um, chef, Kweli, Kweli, Chef, Kweli, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, half the times I'm at home, I always remember the recipes that we do here. Oh, and I end up making them so easily Kweli. and so fast because mm. at the end of the day, people need to realize that we make these meals in less than an hour mm, right sure. so that we can make sure that you guys get to see the final result all right now a chef it's a very special day I know, man. Yes, yes because of the fact that it is a uh, chef's and i's birthday month mm, birthday yes month, yeah. and that <laughs> chef's is on the third and mine is on the 10th so we're going to be celebrating our birthdays today by preparing the meals that make us most happy yep. now i had a very difficult time picking a dessert that <laughs> makes me happy me i know <laughs> It was like a long list, uh, but I would say this is my uh, favorite dessert yeah. when it's done right mm. uh, because of the fact that it's just so fresh and but of creamy. Course, when you do it, you do it right. Exactly. Uh, and when I've literally never found a tiramisu. Uh, that is as good as mine. Uh, so there you. <laughs> well in, well in. I'm blowing my own trumpet. Shame <laughs> on me. All right, chef, what are you making for your birthday today? Okay, so for me, I also do my personal favorite. Right. It's a Spanish tortilla. A Spanish tortilla. Yeah. And first of all, happy birthday. birthday. I have grown to love you. You are my yeah. brother and my Three friend. Years, I know it has yeah. been such a long walk. Don't make me start in getting emotional here. <laughs> We're growing old. Manze. We are literally going old in yeah. this show. And <laughs> I know. Uh. <laughs> oh, we'll discuss that later. All right, so I'm going to start with mine okay. because of the fact that we have to be popping it into the fridge mm. to set. Okay. So what I have here is I've got some egg whites. You see how I'm strategically placing it your side? Uh, because oh, I should. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hey, I thought it's a special day. Special day <laughs> is the speciality of the power of your hands. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break um, two egg whites in here mm. because I want... Oop, be careful, guys. Almost. Do not get any you egg yolk. Any That's it. If you get any egg again. yolk in there... Hey. Um, then Again, you're done for. I'm just going to add one more okay. because of the fact that we don't have mascarpone, so I need more um, uh, creaminess, okay. right? All right, so one more egg white goes in there. Thank you very much. Yes, and then I'm just going to wash my hands. Salmonella is real. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to jump back here. As Chef is doing that, what I have here is I've got two egg yolks. I'm going to add um, a, two, a tablespoon of sugar of caster sugar to be specific mm. and i'm going to do the exact same thing which is just basically whisk it fluffy. to exactly mm. so you want your egg whites to be pale so from the white yellow that you normally have i mean the yellow that you normally have which is a deep yellow sun yellow yeah. you want it to be a pale yellow mm. almost as if it's cream it's almost like it's cream so I'm just going to make sure we whisk yeah, that. That's perfect. All right. Now I'm going to ask for the whisk, please, because what we have here is we've got um, a cup and a half of cream. That's mm. fresh cream. And and I love to use cream because it adds that creaminess. Mm. <laughs> Literally. <Of course. laughs> and then we've got sugar here, which I'm just going to go a little bit crazy with it. Sugar. Yeah. In a, uh, one tablespoon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. And I'm just going to add uh, two tablespoons in this one. Mm. <laughs> and then we're going to whisk this to um, stiff peaks, right? You serious? <laughs> no! Yes, not to stiff, very stiff, but just to peaks, right? Yeah. And we're going to make sure that it's incorporated. Now, Chef is going on with that. See how I always just dump things to him? <laughs> I'm going to come here with the hot water, and I've got coffee that I'm just going to add into the hot water, give that a mix, and I'm going to pull this out um, so it can start to cool. Now, at this point is where my favorite part is because you literally only have to layer up the dessert, mm. right? Okay, so what we have here are lady fingers. Lady fingers can be found in the supermarket on the cookie section. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you can make lady fingers at home. It's a basic egg 
flour sugar recipe. Oh, Literally. So it's like uh, making pasta. E exactly. Yeah, yeah, but then flour. you bake it. Ah. So you're gonna egg, beat your egg whites to a stiff peak, mm. and then you wanna incorporate the flour and the sugar in oh, there so as well. Oh, so you're using egg whites? You're not using the whole egg? No, you don't use the whole egg, ah. but you can use the, the, those lady finger recipes that you can use the whole egg. Okay. And what it is, it's a very, it's like almost like a biscuit mm. consistency, almost like a, a, a stale bread. I usually call it stale bread with a little bit of sugar. Yeah. All right. So that's this. This is how the lady fingers look. I just wanted you to Maybe? see that. Um, yes, that's perfect. Thank you so much. Now, what we're going to come and do is my favorite part, which is layering the dessert. Mm. We've got our coffee here, um, which I will literally just take a fork because we are going to dunk lady fingers into our coffee. One, two, three, four, five. Don't over dunk them. One, two, three, four, five. Whoopsie, I'm over dunking them. Oops, oh, yeah, oopsie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. What was this? It's too that too, like. No, you can. I put the coffee inside and then... Oh, you the... can do that as well. Yeah. The chef, you know what? I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm going to do that. Because even the, pan, the pan is hot. Yeah, the pan is hot. So don't worry, I've saved that one. Mm. It's going to be nice and coffee. Coffee-ry. 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 Coffee coffee it's going to be coffee-ry. <laughs> I'm going to place that one there. And I'm awesome. going to go with chef's idea where we're going to line up. See how it's just swollen up properly. Mm. We're going to line the bottom of the tray with these lady fingers. I'm just going to put an extra one over there. And then we're literally just going to pour the coffee right on top. And I don't want to finish the coffee because I've still got to dunk a couple of more in there. Okay. So make sure it soaks completely. Make sure you soak, not well, halfway. I like to soak halfway so you get a little bit of that bite mm. on. So it's not just soggy doggy, right? Oh, okay. We're going to let that sit for a while, let it soak, let it cool. We're going to put that aside. Mm. And we've got our cream here, which has the sugar. It has the... Um, it has the, sorry, it, this, this doesn't have any sugar, That's right? Sugar. It has sugar, this yeah. doesn't have any sugar. Oh, it has sugar, yes. Has sugar, yes. <laughs> and then we're going to grab our um, egg yolks yes. and we're just literally going to fold that in there. Mm. We're going to take our egg, uh, yes, thank you. We're going to take our um, egg whites, which we have whisked to a stiff peak. Okay. Remember, we didn't have any sugar in this. And we're literally just going to add that in there. Now, this is key. If you've got mascarpone, please go ahead and put mascarpone cheese in there. That works perfectly. I'm just going to mix this up completely um, completely completely in that you're not breaking down you can see it's just gently folding so you're not breaking down the bubbles in the egg whites mm -hmm. but you're incorporating the egg whites into the cream so it's like the filling exactly as you can see it's fluffy mm. it's creamy it's airy um, this is what makes that now mascarpone cheese in this mm. would be the icing so, on like, the cake so like to Yes, the same process. just the same process okay. and you want to just gently fold that, mm. right? As you can see, it's literally, you want to work. So you see the bubbles are not breaking down completely. Yeah. It's still very fluffy. Mm. It's going to form a perfect cream. Now you come um, on this tray, which you had lined it up before, and you want to literally just pour a little bit of it, not too much. We're going to do half of it mm. um, right on top. And then, sorry, and then we're gently just going to spread this out. You just want to spread that out right oh. i know <laughs> i know right you're gonna spread this out and what we're trying to do is form almost like a layer of cream mm. that we're gonna place some more cookies uh, uh, on right on top exactly okay. Right, so we're gonna do that gently. <coughs> now, at this point, then I have to use my fingers because I, I have to now do. Pause, yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't pour the the coffee on this now. Yeah. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm just literally going to dunk them real quick. I'm just gonna use my fingers and place them right on top. So you wanna go on the rest of the dessert like that. <laughs> It's nyonyaing all the cream, <laughs> right? And that's what happens is, is it also um, absorbs the moisture from the cream, mm. which just makes it so glorious. So you almost have like a layer, a cake layer right in between. Oh, I may need some more coffee. I, <laughs> I may need some more coffee. So I'm going to continue with this. Um, and then we're going to make some more coffee. And then we're going to continue to fill the pan with that tray. Uh, with coffee, I'm just going to boil some more water here just to make sure that we have all the coffee we need. We're going to add a little bit more coffee in there. Continue to layer this up. I'll put another layer of cream cheese right on top. I mean, of um, of the the creamy goodness that we've made, which is going to be kind of like the cream for the, for, the, for the tiramisu. And then we're going to place it into the fridge to set. Now, when it sets, oh my gosh, 
it is glorious. It's literally the most delicious dessert ever. <laughs> and Chef is going to make uh, a tortilla, which we are going to see the step by step on how to do this. If you miss a beat, all you have to do is go online on Ibu TV Hot Plate. You will be able to see everything that we've literally done. Mm. All right, so a little bit more coffee goes into some hot water. I'm going to give that a mix. Literally, we just wanted to make sure that it is. It has to be hotter, more yeah. warm. It's warm water, that's okay. fine. And we're, um, we're going to continue to layer this up completely. Mm. Layer it up, like don't be shy. Just continue to add the coffee as you go. Woo, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, um, and then that's that. Now the perfect thing about this is you can make a little decoration depending on your tray mm. of, um, like you see the way you put the sticks around. Mm. So you can go ahead and do that. You can make it as presentable as possible. Uh, For now, I just want to eat. Yeah, no <laughs> right? Can't wait, can't wait. right? All right, so chef, what's going to be the process for making yours? Okay, so uh, this one is a very, 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 very simple thing. Uh, dish right only three ingredients three only only that's it that's it oh my gosh so we have here some hot oil yeah what we're gonna do we're gonna cut slice this uh, onions right and then we're just gonna caramelize them okay add the potatoes yeah and then just wait for the potatoes to get soft oh, wow. and then we can mix it with the eggs oh my gosh mm. that's literally all it takes that's all it takes so all right seasoning now yeah all right now i'm just finishing the last top layer so i just literally want to cover this up mm. completely uh, make sure you get all those fingers covered up completely. Yeah, take long, yeah, how long? So this, it's best to give it four hours or oh, even overnight. overnight yeah. uh, so I'm just going to place ours in the freezer mm. to make sure it sets. Okay. Um, and then what I'm going to do for the finishing touch is I am going to add some uh, cocoa powder uh, right on top. Now, nice. it's best to do this after the dessert comes out of the freezer okay. or the fridge. You want to leave this uh, to set for a little bit. I'm mm. just going to put one layer because I like to cover mine completely with um, with cocoa powder. Mm. Now, cocoa powder can tend to be, is, is bitter. Mm. So you don't want to overdo it. I'm just literally going to put just one layer right on top. And this, you'll notice when you remove it, it will kind of like be wet because it's soaked in. Yeah. But then I'll then come again and put another layer just on top to right add, like coffee exactly creamy. So you've got, uh, yes you've got that coffee <laughs> chocolatey creamy, chocolatey goodness all right into Whoa. the freezer this is gonna go mm. all right chef take us away okay so <laughs> <laughs> so what we're gonna do mm. is first we're gonna dice these onions just gonna cut them into julians right put them in the oil because mm. the oil has been getting hot for a while right so we're going to put this in the hot oil. Mm. I love that because that caramelizes the Zuzana, onions. Yeah. And it, I can see that you're using white onions. Yes. This is a preferable um, option. This is a, okay, you can use red ones, but since this one's a sweet, right. just want it to be like a sweet dish. Okay. To be. So that enhances the sweetness. Now, Chef, why is this your favorite meal? Every single time. Oh, wow. <laughs> Big shout out, Mom. <laughs> Thank you for making this for your son. Now he's showing us how to make it. Mm. Um, so have you ever been able to nail it and make it as good as your mom's? Ay. <laughs> yeah. But of course, I'm <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, Chef, what hmm? size do you need your onions? Uh, just uh, Julian sizes. Right. Maybe three inches. Because uh -huh. you don't want them too thick, too slim. Yeah. Cut them into so you want medium sizes. Yes. You want to have a bite of it, yes. and it's gonna have the sweetness aspect of so it as yeah, well, yeah. right? All right, so that sounds delicious. So we have the onions that we mentioned that's meant of quite brown. Yes. The reason why we're not putting the onions later mm -hmm. after the potatoes right. is because we don't. If you care, caviar the first we can. I mean, we can go. Uh, they won't caramelize, they'll just get translucent. Ah. So you don't want that. Right. Yeah. So we're just gonna leave that. If I can see. Right, so you're going to leave them on for a while. I can mm. see they've already started to brown. But, so like even oh, don't worry wow. about it, like it's like too brown. Right. Yeah, that's what you like want. Like that's what you want. Yes. And that brings that sweetness and the crunchiness. But, you know, I really love onion rings. Yes. Like I design. really, really love onion <laughs> rings. Without the butter. Yes. Okay. Now, yeah. um, potatoes are going. Why, what are we going to use the potatoes for, Chef? We're going to throw them inside. Inside there? Yes. Whilst the onions are going? Whilst the onions are going. And the onions are not going to burn? No. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I'm yes. not too sure about that. 
trust you me. Trust, I've cooked trust this me. one a million times. Trust man. me, you will. Yeah? Yes. Okay. I've cooked All this right. A now times. um, we have onions going. We've got the tiramisu in there. Chef says this is his go-to meal, mm. and I can't wait to see just how good it tastes. And on, I, I want to see if it's worth it. If it's worth the birthday, <laughs> worth the birthday it is, meal. Trust me. All right. We'd love to hear what are some of the meals that you love to enjoy on your birthday. If you go for dinner, um, or even if you love your mom making them, please. Send us an SMS on the number on the screen. If you have any requests as to some of the recipes that we should be doing on this show, let us know. Mm. I'm excited to hear that. And to, you know, to get to know some of the things that you guys enjoy. I know a lot of the times when we have guests on the show, we usually ask them what their favorite meal is. And I can guarantee you that a lot of people really enjoy ugali. Of course. Yes, ugali. <laughs> love the next thing Mr. to ugali Paul is Manze. chicken. Yes. That's chicken. the one Adam, thing that I'm used to. One, uh, one out of, no. Uh? I think like three out of four guests will tell us chicken. Right? I don't know. It was recently. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Beef for the first time. For the first time. Yeah, I really like enjoy beef. beef yeah. Yeah, chicken, chicken is most chicken people's go-to meal. Manzi. All right. Now, um, we have... What is going to be in this, chef? Oops. <laughs> what, what do you mean? <laughs> what is going to be in this in terms of the meat? There's no meat. It's a vegetarian dish. Proteins of the eggs. Don't give me that look. You're going to enjoy it. <laughs> All right. Chef has decided that there is no meat. It is egg. Mm, but uh -huh. while you cook it, you can add maybe like ham. Okay. Or any paste ready meat. Uh, like a, maybe bronze. Okay. Yeah. Now, Chef, what time of the day do you eat this meal? Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bila <laughs> nyama. Bila nyama. Ayasa. What do you I'm trying to be healthy so gonna, anyway, and I'm trying eh? to cut out this meat yes. that I ingest. So. so. Mm. I know, it's not good for you every <laughs> single time, guys. Yeah. Stay away from the meat. All right. Okay, so, so we're going to cut them in halves. Okay. And then we're just going to slice them. Right. Thinly, not too thin, not too thick. Okay. Right. And yes. so that it can also cook in time cook, yeah. with the onions so being ready. Right. You so don't want them eh? to over yeah, to stay yeah. there. Mm. Now, Chef, I can see that you've reduced the heat. Is this appropriate? Uh, I reduced the heat because of the onions. You don't want them to burn. Yes. Right? And now you have a lovely slices that are going to go into mm. that potato frying process. Now, explain to us what tortillas are. Tortillas. This is a Spanish dish. Uh-huh. It's uh, this combination of eggs, potatoes, onions. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Right. And it's hearty. So like in Atuku Kulambili. Mm. Now, what is the difference between tortillas, burrito, mm. tacos, nini? Okay, so when you say it's a tortilla, mm. <laughs> so it looks like a like a tortilla, of course, ah. when you finish cooking. Right. Yeah, you'll see the process what we'll do. Okay. Yeah. But uh, tortillas are flour based. Okay. Yeah. Now, is there any cheese that's going to go into this? You could add cheese, mm -hmm. but... So, okay. You can add cheese. Yes. yes. <laughs> We've got some Parmesan cheese. Yeah, but I'm just doing it as simple as possible so guys at home must see stress sun right. with the ingredients. Nee, nee, nee. All so, right. Mm. Now, is is it okay? We, could, we have some Parmesan cheese. Maybe yes, we, we can add some, some Parmesan, Parmesan cheese in there. Yes. Because it's always better with a little bit of cheese, a little bit of love, a little bit of cheese. Of course, Claire, you want to your cheese. So. I know. Yeah. I love my cheese. Now, so, I see add... a very long bread on the table. Yes. And I want to ask what it's for. So, we're going to make a bruschetta. Bruschetta. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we are going to be enjoying our meal today. Now, we do have the... Um, the tiramisu in the fridge. I'm just like, tiramisu, please be ready. Please be <laughs> ready. I cannot wait to have that. And you want to make sure that it sets for, give it four hours or overnight mm. for the perfect consistency of your tiramisu. Um, a lot of people tend to get impatient when making these things. You want to make them beforehand and let them sit, let them set. That's the only way you'd that's have a, secret, a perfect, eh? that's the secret. Uh, you'd have a perfect consistency because the cookies soak in the moisture from the cream yeah. And the coffee and oh my gosh, just yeah, makes no. it unbelievable, <laughs> right? All right, so I see garlic yes, making sorry. me happy here, chef. Um, <laughs> feel free to add three more cloves. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, you there'll, there'll be enough garlic. There'll be me. enough garlic. Yes. All right, please explain what the garlic is for then. Okay, so once the potatoes and the onions are ready, right. I'm gonna put them in a bowl. Then we're just gonna add like minced garlic just to add the flavor. Okay. Yeah. So just to because add... it's gonna be hot, so like can I eat a toyoro oh, edge? Chili? 
It's gonna be chili. No, no, the potatoes will oh. be hot. So like that as the that was the raw edge kiasi. Right. Yeah, not right. fully, but okay. Off. So you don't want to cook them. You still want that slightly. Mm, because to get kapo. Yeah. The chomeka. Okay. And garlic burns very, very fast, mm. guys. So you want to make sure that you don't drop the garlic into the oil. You're literally going to cook it with the heat that comes out from the and you know it's also got its oil from the frying pan yes. as well. So that's gonna slow cook it a little bit. Absolutely. Bring out its oils like Chef is saying, and then it's just gonna coat. I can imagine it's going to coat the those um, potatoes mm. with with the garlic flavor. Hello, you. Garlic. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, now um, this is a tortilla that we've been making, and of course, uh, uh, celebrating our birthday month. Mm -hmm. uh, please, like I said earlier, let us know what are some of the treats that you love to enjoy. I'm really interested in seeing how Chef makes um, the bruschetta. Um, a little, a little bit of salt is going on the garlic. This is for ease of mincing it, and it helps with less sticking yes. um, on the on the on the knife on the board, <laughs> um, and it helps with the mincing process as well. Now. Um, what is gonna go on the bruschetta, chef? Uh, bruschetta, we're gonna uh, grate some tomatoes. Okay. And then we're gonna add some garlic. Oh, yum. Some oregano. Oh, yum. And some salt. Right. Yeah, and then we're gonna toast the bread. And then we're gonna rub it with some garlic. Garlic. Oh my yeah. gosh. So we're gonna make a garlic bread bruschetta yes. with the simplest ingredient, which Kapsa. is tomatoes. Mm. And and you know one thing I love about these bruschettas is you can literally put anything you want on yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> But the simplest ones are always the best. Yes, of course. Like the one with the tomato only period with a little bit of oregano. Mm. Oh my gosh. Absolutely delicious. And it's the simplest thing ever. Right? <laughs> okay, so um, a little mince of the garlic going on there. I always love how Chef does it. I've never managed to do it as good <laughs> as he does. Huh? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Oh, we're talking about so we're gonna go ahead and make sure that we have that lovely mince right on top and as you can see the garlic has completely broken down mm. um, and it's become much less than what was there why does that happen <laughs> I, <don't know>. huh? <laughs> I think the salt just breaks it down anyway. right look at that it's like there was no garlic on there that's like one clove now yeah. this is enough this is enough garlic. So if you say so. <laughs> all right now um, our know. onions I'm curious to see yes. are they burning They're not. They actually are not. Yeah, I told you. Can you explain the science behind this? <laughs> See, so, so, I'm uh, like, this is magic. Yeah? It's here. obvious it's Right, so yeah. that's why. So it slows down the cooking. And then also the, the potatoes cooking. have some moisture. Right. Yeah, so you're not released. So, so. Right. But, yeah. Okay. All right, so that looks absolutely amazing. So not yet. Potatoes yes. are not ready. We yes. just gave we that a them quick to be very, check. Very, very um, we've got our baguette. Do you need me to help you with anything right now? Yes, uh, three. Great tools. <laughs> it's not garlic. Ah, you should have seen. I'm just like, I had to ask to help, guys. I just had to offer my help to Chef Bennett. Mm. All right, so I'm going to give these tomatoes a quick wash. Now, Chef. I already washed them. Oh, you already washed them. Now, yes. do we need to peel these? Uh, no. Just cut them in half. Right. And then just uh, grate them with the small one. With the small one. Yeah, so. Cut a. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like I got this. Chef. Okay, so. I got this because what happens is you end up remaining with a peel. Yes. Yeah. All right. Now, um, basically, I've cut the ends off. As you can see, when you grate, it literally gets only the flesh, the flesh of the of the tomato, mm. and so you end up grating, and you remain with literally just the skin. I love to grate when I'm making stews because it breaks down my tomatoes so much faster. Yeah. Um, rather than cutting it so you're left with the juice and the and the, you know the flesh of the tomato um that you got to work with mm. all right now um chef blending it and then what i mean uh, grating it and then what okay yeah. so once you've finished mm -hmm. we're gonna start seasoning it right and then we can continue with our bread i want you guys to see this i want you to see this you literally have just the peel remaining and you can grate until you can feel the grater on your fingers uh, just finishing off that flesh that you have there honestly this is so much easier than having to chop up and to wait for tomatoes to get ready in a stew or if you don't have a blender this is the best method to use mm. and the fun bit is I use my kids to do this hard work they're my sous chefs <laughs> so uh, my kids love to grate and they fight and you know with their small little hands yeah. and at least you're not worried about them chopping their fingers up 
So uh, this is always the best option. I always tell them to grate the stuff in the house. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so chef, you have um, your potatoes going on there. Yes, so we're just going to check if it's ready and then right. we can see if we can continue. Mm -hmm. Now, chef, you mm. are growing old. Yes. Well, so am I. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm acting like it's not my birthday month. Um, what are some of the things that you'd say you've learned um, over these years that you're grateful that you learned? Hey, fa family. <laughs> Family. Yeah, what about family? Yeah. Like yeah, the, there's nothing special about that. Yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. Like, it's yeah. so special. Yeah, family is special. Then you know, when they're not around, I know. You tend to miss them. Although Aww. when we were teenagers, we had to go to attack your mambo. Yeah. We had to go room. Ah. Yeah, squeeze him and then don't attack you. You want yeah, that family, you want that family, family life completely, life, yeah. right? Oh, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Family is everything. Family is very important. And sometimes family is all you got, mm. right? Yeah. Be it your chosen family because the people have chosen families. Yes. Or be it your, you know, biological family. Mm. All right. So I've got uh, my tomatoes. Tomato, tomatoes. potato. Tomato, 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 tomato. Yes. Okay. So. That is what you're looking but for, Chef. I'll take your maji. I'll take your maji. You'll just uh, try and... Drain it. Drain it. All right. Can so use maybe a sieve? All right, so mm. we're going to drain that water. Yeah, because you don't want the toast to, to be too soggy. Okay, yeah, because it will soak into uh, that um, mm. completely. Now, remember, guys, do not throw this away. Mm. You Definitely. literally can use this for a stew, um, for a healthy juice. It will work perfectly. So what I'm doing here is I'm just separating the flesh from um, the sauce that you have there okay. and kind of like draining it so I don't have to use a sieve because a sieve will still get some of that flesh there. And I'm kind of just like pressing it down just to make sure that all these juices continue to come out. Mm. As I lift it up, see, you still get a little bit of the juice coming down there. Yeah. And I'm going to do the same process again just to make sure that I have most of it. I feel but that will not be as good. All right, so down with the water. Chef, I think I've gotten rid of most of the water. All right, so what do I do? Okay, what okay, do I do so with this? So what you're going to do there, we're going to season that. Okay. So you're going to put some salt, pepper. Okay. Oregano. Oregano. All right, so a pinch of salt, guys, right on that. Are we going to put some sugar? You can. We can, mm. yes. All right, a little bit of salt. You can get away with some things. I, I know, I know. <laughs> a pinch of black pepper. Now, I love a hint of black pepper in there. Mm. I love that. And the oregano is one of my favorite mixed herbs. I think I've told you this before. Yes. It's got such a lovely aroma. It's such a lovely um, a flavor to uh, most of Italian dishes. It's absolutely brilliant. I'm just going to put a nice handful in there. And then basically just make sure that we've mixed this up completely. Now, at this point, mm is where I'm going to add a pinch of sugar, okay. literally a pinch, because you see the amount that we have there mm -hmm. is very, very little. So I'm going to give this a mix and you can see the colors of the of the pepper and the oregano pop there. You still got a little bit it of is. the seeds. I'm definitely going to give this a taste just to make sure that we have the right amount of seasoning. Oh my gosh, a little bit extra salt. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. You can crunch through the oregano. Yeah. Uh, you can feel the sweetness of the. Oh my gosh! This is like the simplest thing ever. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and, and 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 can I add just a little bit of chili flakes? So, I'm gonna add just a bit of chili flakes on there because I want that heat, just that slight heat uh, from the back uh, that just hits you and you're like, yes, I love chili. Mm. All right. So in there, I think that's pretty much yeah, gone. We can we can put it in the fridge. Yes. Okay. Please. So in mezima ishakwa. Oh wow! Look at that. And then what do you have on the pan there? Okay, so we have some bread here. We're going to toast it a bit. Right. You can put it in the oven. Uh-huh. You should get to any quicker. Like this, like a toast, toast TV. To right. Place, yeah. Okay, look at Let's that. See. Now, any butter is going to go on that, Chef? Uh, no. I'm going to use it just like that. Sorry? No. Take no, I've taken it out for you in case you <laughs> need some. <laughs> yes, I'm going to need some butter on my toast. Basi? Uh, my eye. My eye. Yes. Oh my gosh, Chef is giving me all the job that I absolutely love. See, it's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what do I need to do in here? Just crack the eggs in. How many eggs, all Chef? All six. All six eggs. Yes. Okay, as you know it, you're supposed to crack an egg outside of your bowl. Mm. I'm going to crack six eggs in here. One chipolata. Oopsie. That's one egg. And chef, do you have to use six eggs? Uh, okay, so we used 
400 grams right. of potatoes. Right. So that goes well with six. A little That's trick. That's like Viazitatu. A little trick we learned here basically is um, crack an egg with an egg. Mm. Yes, chef? Yes. Do you still remember how to do that? Uh, when do you find Miss Kupanya. Oh, Kupanya. Yeah. All right, so all you have to do is you have your two eggs there. You want to just bash one with the other and it automatically breaks one of them. And you just want to dump that in there. Uh, we had Wiki, the guy behind the camera, <laughs> and try it. And I think he just has too much power yeah. after carrying all this, uh, all the, the equipment that he normally does. And he ended up cracking both eggs completely vanished into into existence it just disappeared right <laughs> so you just want to break that lightly give that a break mm -hmm. um and i did try also uh, the method of one one hand and i did learn how to do it wow. ah i oh, know right you, you. egg master uh -huh. call me the egg master <laughs> all right so we're gonna drop the last bit thank yeah, you chef and we're gonna give this a mix mm. and, and how much do you want me to mix it let's mix it to the all the yolks are broken, broken up. Mm. All right, so we're going to mix this up until, you know, it's well incorporated. We can see some bubbles up in there. Uh, I love whisks because they do that. That's their purpose, yeah, yeah. to add air into whatever it is that you're mixing. And that's what gives it that bubbly look. You can Apple see sour. that. This is absolutely perfect. I'm sorry. I can't Apple stop saying Okay. Okay. All right, okay, so now we've got to, and this one cook the eggs. Yes, and that's what you want. You because want to cook it? Yes. Oh, okay. We're going to cook the eggs. We're going to do it equal life. Okay, sour. So we <laughs> want to just, do I mix it? Uh, let's get over. Okay. Let's and look that. at the onions in there. I'm so excited about those <laughs> onions. Honestly, they look absolutely beautiful. I'm just going to wash my hands real quick. And make sure I get all that eggness, egginess, egginess out, of out of there. Right. Yeah, so we're going to season it now. And put some salt, pepper, paprika. Right. Some flakes. Right, some chili flakes in there yes. for that extra heat. And then you just leave it for about 10 minutes. Okay. Let's do my Yes. Mm. All right, so a little bit of salt is going to go in there. Um, um, please make sure you season it accordingly. Like you need to make sure you just get yeah. enough of that salt in there. Um, you can some, turn to... Some black pepper. Yes. Sorry, Chef, yes. you wanted to say something? Oh, yeah, any like salt to make sure you make shika. Yes. Let's attend the Salt uh, yeah. All right, so we're just going to make sure that we put some more because you see you've got oh. potatoes in there. Mm. So, <coughs> excuse me. Pili pili. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pili. I got that chili straight up my nose. <laughs> All right, now that looks good. Um, I feel like we're going to mix this up because we have to make sure that we've got it incorporated with the eggs properly. Oh, um, Oh, yes. Mm. Excuse me, you put half of it. I don't know why. Ah, okay. Mm. All right, so we're going to just make sure we mix Let's mix. That was earlier about breaking the... Yes, the potatoes, yes, right? Let's mix, let's mix it. Okay, yeah. so we're going to mix it completely. Make sure that we've got everything incorporated. Mm. We've got our potatoes mixed there perfectly. Um, we've got the chili flakes. Are we going to put some um, oregano? No. Yeah, we're going to put some parsley. We're going to put some, some parsley dania. in there, yeah? And you can see we made sure that we put just enough salt. Salt is key, guys, because if you don't salt it enough, then you're going to have to add salt later on. It won't be the same. It will not be the same, right? All right, so we're going to give that a lovely mix. I'm just going to get... Oh, yes, that's perfect salt. All right, we're going to go ahead and add parsley now into that. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, now, Chef, what's going to be the next process? Okay, so now we're going to cook the tortilla now. We're going to cook the tortilla. Yes, I love this because <laughs> then you said it's going to take long. It's not even going to take long. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not. It doesn't, actually. So we've got the process there done. We've got our bread cooking. We've got our tiramisu in the fridge. Mm. Um, chef, is that pan big enough or are you making two? We're making two. We're going to make two, yes. right? All right, so we're going to make two of them. Yeah, so now we've got our bread you said there. You butter. Yes, please. I would love some butter on mine. Onyanja. Yes, I would oh. love some butter on mine. Yes, I would love some. No. Ingumu. Okay. <laughs> Ingumu, ni sawa tunta kusaidia. Ju, I want to also cut mine slightly thinner. Mm. Slightly thinner. Yeah, the bite is going to be so huge. Okay. <laughs> Itavunjika. Yeah. Itavunjika? Mm. Itavunjika. You can, you can do this. Uh -huh. uh, once we finish, you can cut it in. In what? Like maybe halfway. So like suksumbu. 
There you go. Mm. I feel wow. like I've okay, gotten my piece. Yeah, then. this is mine. Okay. All right, now, uh, guys, we are going to compile this when we come back from our short break. Don't go anywhere. It is birthday month for me and Claire today, and today we're making our favorite dishes, our go to dishes. Right. Which I don't think we've ever done, have we? No, we actually have. Well, I've but made it. Yes, yeah, yes. that I mean, meeting in a but I go your time, that's our favorite. Right. All right. <laughs> yes. I'm just on the garlic. Oh, okay, so you can spread the garlic. Right. On all the toasts. On all? Yeah. Oh, okay, I, I thought it was just idea. mine. The toasted side. Yes. Yes. Okay, so the toasted side um, gets the garlic. Mm. Yes. And then what next? Jelly. Is that? Get out okay. <laughs> we're hearing sounds in the kitchen, guys. That's why you saw us both look back. We're like, what is that? Mm -hmm. All toast. right. We've got our toast there yes. um, with, with the garlic, uh, garlic spread right on top. Mm -hmm. I put some butter on mine. You can never have toast without butter. That's an abomination. <laughs> yeah, come on. Or to toast. No, I'm serious. Yeah, How do you yeah, not yeah. have butter? You oh, can. Lord. No. No, yes, you can. I disagree. Any <laughs> sort of butter, tree tomato butter, all sorts of butter, just put that on your toast. Oh, okay. you see these little pieces right there? So, so. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> now, <laughs> then uh, I put the rest on there, yeah? Think, yeah. Do I spread it on? Hmm? Do I spread it on? Uh, just put like a layer of onion in Okay. That okay. doesn't have to be spread, uh, but yeah, don't get it to another layer. Another layer? Mm. Okay. This one, like. Some height, get out. Oh, you want some height. Yeah. Right, you should have mentioned that. <laughs> All right, some height is going to go in there. Um, I'm going to put on the toasted side so it doesn't soak as fast mm. uh, because you don't want it to soak too fast. And of course, you can finish this off with a lovely leaf of... Um, of of um, basil. basil exactly mm -hmm. of whatever it is basil actually would be perfect some fresh basil would be perfect yeah. on this i'm just going to make sure that i heap up a lovely lovely amount and i'm just going to set them on our on our plate there mm -hmm. that's our plate for today yes <laughs> all right now i'm going to continue to layer up the rest remember we had drained the water out out Oat. Oat. <laughs> Oat. German. I've become German. Yeah. <laughs> we drain the water out. All right. And 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 we just want to make sure that we place the rest of it right on top. Mm. Um, um, make sure that we've got all these pieces lined up there for us. Because guess what? We're gonna be enjoying this with that tortilla. Mm. Right? Okay. So mm -hmm. put some oil. Right. What you do is just add it here, mm -hmm. like so. Okay, I'm just gonna finish up with this tomatoes. Tomatoes. Put the tomatoes right on top, and then um, we are going to place this right here. And and you know you can you can only know what you've made when you taste it. Mm. So I'm gonna I do that right now. Mm. 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 The chili flakes are good. Idea. Mm, 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 mm. Can you fill it at the back? Mm. Absolutely delicious. Mm. Isn't it good? Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh. oh wow. That is good. Perfect. So, right. mm -hmm. check up. Mm. Let's take a spoon. Right. On the other side. And then just like make sure mm -hmm. it's a shake up stuff. Mm. Which it won't actually. Mm -hmm. You make a maputa. Mm -hmm. This is gonna make like a bed, and then now we'll turn it. Okay. And now it'll look now like a cake, like a small mm. tiny cake. Yeah. Now, how long are you supposed to cook that for? Um, depending on the size, mm -hmm. five, ten, fifteen, mm. twenty, mm -hmm. depending on the size. Now, do you cover it? No. You know, you watch it because we're gonna turn it. We're gonna so turn. So we just want the eggs to get ready. Right. Mm. So you turn that to kauka to izuri. Take a plate, mm -hmm. put it on top, turn it. Then just slide it in the pan and make it done. That sounds <laughs> absolutely delicious. Yes. Now, Chef, I'm going to pour myself a drink because I want to eat more of those. Yeah, they're really good. They're perfect <laughs> for starters. Mm. If, you've got, um, if you've got some shrimp, that would be perfect to just dunk in there. <laughs> you can see the egg has started cooking. Mm. Um, and the best part about this is you can have slices where you can literally yeah, um, have it like a pizza, yeah. right? We're going to have it like a pizza. We are going to have it like a pizza. Mm. I love how delicious this is, honestly, and how simple it is to make it as well. Mm. All right, now our tiramisu is still going. I have the sniffles. I want to sneeze because of the pepper that's just hit me. Excuse me. <laughs> 
I had to sneeze. Pepper normally does that. Yeah, it does. <laughs> wow, it, it just hits you, right? <laughs> All right, um, I'm going to wait for that to cook. Like Chef said, it will literally take uh, 10 minutes to make sure that yes. you've got your egg cooked through mm, and your potatoes. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to check on our tiramisu, which is in the freezer, going on setting. I love this. I can't wait for you to try it, Chef. We've done it today without mascarpone cheese, which tends to be a little bit on the pricey side. Mm. Um, so you can eliminate mascarpone cheese by making sure that you add eggs and egg yolk just to make it more creamy because egg yolk adds the creaminess that, that the mascarpone yeah. cheese would have originally. Because it was right? also creamy, yeah. Cheesecake. Exactly. <laughs> Ooh, yum. I haven't made cheesecake in such a long mm, time. I wouldn't take it. Say. I should make a cheesecake. Mm. A strawberry cheesecake is also one yeah, of my mascarpone. favorite ones, right? With mascarpone. Mm. Oh my gosh, it would be so creamy Can and delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna do that instead of using cream cheese. That'd be so. Oh cream my cheese. gosh. Yeah. Oh yeah. You cream, use cream cheese. cheese. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna do half and half. Ah. See now I've gotten excited. I've just come up with a new recipe, a new <laughs> cheesecake recipe. And my favorite cheesecake recipe is a no bake cheesecake. Mm. Um, I normally don't like the New York style. I cheesecake. made it once. Yeah, it was awesome. My recipe. My yeah. kid loved it. Man. Yay! <laughs> And of course, you guys can be able to recreate these meals that we make here in the kitchen mm -hmm. as well by simply going onto YouTube, that's Ebru TV Hot Plate, just to see the recipes that we've done on the show before. All right, so Chef, I can see Imanza Kushika Pochini. Yes. You can tell, wobble, eh? yeah, you yes, can see the wibble, 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 So that's good, give it a few seconds, a few minutes. Okay, all right. Now, this bread needs to be taken away from here. Chef, I can see that you use yes. um, wheat bread. All right, please explain to us the process. What is that you've got there? Put a plate on top, eh? Okay. Then just twist it like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, Lina, you. Uh-huh. And there you go. Uh-huh. And just slide it in. Slide it onto the plate. Yes. Onto the pan, sorry. Kabisa. Then just use your spoon. Don't worry about the color. Uh-huh. Here you go, so it's perfectly normal. Mm -hmm. and then just use a spoon mm -hmm. and tuck it in. Mmm. Then now, the other side is getting ready. Oh! Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am stopping my face. <laughs> See, up taser, up taser. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> there you go. This is so good. Mm. I'll be serving these as appetizers in my house. Absolutely delicious. Now, you give that the same thing which you did five minutes, five minutes. Yes. You want to make sure that now, chef. Why we tucked it in? Sasa, mm -hmm. you don't want like the egg in your liquor. Jeeva, he suck out here. They might seep out. Okay. Yeah. So you tuck it in here. All the egg and the back here, but Right. Yeah. Completely. So you want that other side to Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, wonderful. And the one thing about eggs is it swells up. Mm -hmm. oh, so it swells up, like yeah. I said, and it will be nice and fluffy inside, right. and it will so form. protein, egg. starch. Hey. Yes. And the vegetables and yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, Alright, so Chef, please do tell me, mm. what are some of the ways that you like to celebrate your birthday? <laughs> hey, I'm going to PG. <laughs> <laughs> but mostly, if family is around, chill with them. Yeah. Uh, friends, of course, go somewhere. Mm. Chome nyama. Yeah. Have a good time, man. Oh, that's amazing. Mm. Right. Nadia, what about you? I love to spend time with my girls. Mm. Um, we normally have family dinner with my parents mm. and uh, my sister who's away um, mm. and my brother as well. But um, in most cases, I, I like a nice quiet birthday. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. It's odd. I'm, is it odd? <laughs> is it? It's a birthday. Yes, I know. It, but I love to have... Um, uh, a massage, mm. a facial. Oh, no, that's a good spoiler. Yes, uh. I would literally go and buy myself something uh. just on my birthday because I even, I even kept telling my cousin, please, please, I beg you, please don't do a birthday party. Although <laughs> I, although they did one for of me once they love and to I do cried it. my although, eyes out. Yeah, when you say they don't do something. No, 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 no. I cried my eyes out. Yeah. And, and of course, I love to see my friends, you know, during this period. But of late, I've really started enjoying um, quiet time. Really? Yeah. Someone's getting old. <laughs> <laughs> so talk only, talk only like the rocking chair then. Yes, yes, please do. I would love that I'd put it on my balcony and be there with a book a whole day. Yeah. It's a good book, some good classical music and my rocking chair. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh? Classical music. <laughs> yes. Mm. All right, now we've got that um, 
egg going. You can see it started to swell. It literally looks bigger than the pan itself. Mm. And I am about to check on our tiramisu. Yay. Now, a lot of people call it tiramisu, mm. tiramisu, tiramisu, tiramisu. No, it's the way they pronounce it. Uh, you know I mean? Oh my gosh, it's looking like it is you setting. Know, like it's in a, in a shika. In a shika, yeah. in a shika. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to place it into the fridge okay, just okay. to continue. Um, chef, I shot to a sahani. Uh, I thought you were serving. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> no, the tiramisu needs to go for a little bit longer. That's going to be the last thing that we're going to we're going to cut up. Okay. Um but I can see that yours is pretty much ready. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, so onto the pan that goes. Oh, mm. look at that. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. In nikama keki. Nikama keki. Nikama mkate. Nikama siluata. All right, now, oh, okay. let me just do the honors of chopping this up so yes, that you guys sorry. at home can be able to see that. What we're going to do is um, cut that into lovely, lovely triangular pieces. Mm. And this will help ease of even service. Like, yeah. you can literally serve this up. Oops, so whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. And we're going to go ahead and just chop that up completely look at that absolutely gorgeous yeah, all right now that's that we've basically gotten all the pieces um, out yes now i love the consistency of this honestly guys you should see that we've got the eggs that we've got the potatoes cooked mm. through um we've got They're that hot. crunchy onions yes you want to be careful all right it's going to be slightly hot it's almost like a quiche mm -hmm. right it's almost like a quiche just without the crust mm. all right so i'm just really as you can see i'm waiting i've burnt myself before on the show numerous times really? so i've learned from experience well, and now before. i'm just gonna uh well, season before. really yeah i did the seasoning well <laughs> is what chef is saying it's really good mm. 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 <laughs> but the stones mm. oh mm. the crunch um it's from the crunchy I, I can base have, like, as well six of these in one setting in one setting <laughs> <laughs> You love your egg. And for the grand finale, mm. we are going to bring out the tiramisu. And I love, 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 love tiramisu. Mm. Love, 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 love tiramisu when it's done right. Thank you, Chef. Tiramisu is uh, Italian, right? Uh, yes, it is Italian. And um, I am going to literally just sprinkle a little more of that cocoa just to hide those whites. Um, that we have there and um, that just finishes off the touch I love that just coated completely you want to make sure you get all those little spots that you got again do not pour with a spoon I insist please do not pour with a spoon to make it chungi to make chungi because it can overpower your meal mm. and I mean your like dessert a <laughs> exactly it can overpower your dish and then it's going to be very very bitter so please, please listen to me when I tell you, do not use, oh my gosh. Mm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I just shake a kabisa, lakini bado tutakula. I love tiramisu. Honestly, this is a dessert that I can, I can grow fat on. I can grow fatter on. My sister told me, why, why are you acting like you're not fat, girl? <laughs> I can grow <laughs> fatter on. All right. Now, what we're going to do is um, um, get a spatula. Which, right, no. Um, yes, that's perfect. And we're going to take a lovely scoop. I'm going to just clear this from the sides. Mm. Make sure we get that off the, the, off the dish that mm. we've used to, to, to set this. Chef Ataonge in Afambia, <laughs> he's only just eating, eating his meal. I'm eh? waiting for that cold dish. Just. You're waiting for the hey, cold dish hey, to hey, just... Like pili pili. And, <laughs> sana. and what you're going to do is you're going to just make sure you scoop that from the bottom i want to show you the layers mm. look at that absolutely gorgeous um and what you have there is a lovely dessert look at the layers that wow. you get there of the cake and of the i'm gonna go ahead and Can grab I? me a plate yeah. yeah chef is not even waiting go ahead <laughs> go ahead it's all birthday, man. i know <laughs> let me know what you think wow I'm gonna so go spongy ahead. what's that because spongy before it's spongy it soaks in um the oh, wow. flavors mm, mm, mm. right mm, mm, how mm. is that 
Now that's a dessert. Now that is a dessert. <laughs> <What>? I love <laughs> a tiramisu. I'm just going to go ahead and, and wow. grab. Also with the coffee. You, know, hit you can see, you can feel the coffee. Mm. So guys, look at that. That's what I meant when you don't over soak it. And then you have that. Um, still crunchy. It's still a bit crunchy, but if, mm. if you leave it overnight, it mm. stops being crunchy. Because like it soaks. You like it like that. Right? <laughs> like, All right, so I'm like... just going to get a lovely bite of that. Mm. Look at mm. that. You get the coffee, you get the cream, um, you get a little bit of that chocolate. Oh my gosh. Mm. 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 That is so good. <laughs> yes. I love tiramisu. Mm. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. And we hope that you guys enjoy uh, making this for yourselves as well. Thank you so much for tuning in on today's birthday episode for Chef and myself. Mm. A big shout out to everybody who's tried our meals and send us photos. We love you. Thank you and happy birthday, Chef. Happy birthday, Claire. <laughs> Have a lovely night. Good night.